So besides the fact that Google's new Gemini 3 model is beating every other AI model in the market right now, it's also the best vibe coding tool I've tested so far. And it's completely free, which is crazy. I've been using it nonstop and it's honestly on another level. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get started with the vibe coding tool with Gemini 3, how you can create 3D environments and simple games with just a prompt, and then we'll build a full AI UGC ad application where you upload a screenshot of a product and it turns that into a complete AI generator generated ad automatically. We'll be using Gemini 3 on the front end, Google's VO 3.1 and Nano Banana for the media generation and NADN, which is a no code automation platform to tie everything together into one working system. This is a completely beginner friendly tutorial, so you can just follow along easily. All right, without wasting too much of your time, let's jump right into the video. All right, so let me show you an example of that AI UGC ad application that we're going to build. And then I'm going to show you also kind of like how to create these games and then also a few other things using the vibe coding tube. So first of all, for those of you who are not familiar, AI UGC or UGC stands for user generated content, which so in this particular front end, which is built by with Gemini three, you just upload a screenshot of a product. So in our case, I'm just going to um, add this thing, which is a screenshot of a sunscreen that I took, which um, this is again a picture that I took. And this is the type of AI UGC ads that it will generate. This sunscreen literally feels weightless, no greasy mess. Plus, I love how protected my skin feels. Seriously, never skipping this step again. All right, so that's essentially what an AI UGC looks, uh, ad looks like, and we're going to talk about the different aspect ratios. But let's go ahead and uh, get started. So obviously, the front end is going to be using Gemini, and then the back end, we're going to be using N8N. Uh, and obviously, as far as the actual media generation, we're still going to use all Google products, so Nano Banana, and then also VO 3.1. But to get started, Let's go ahead and let me give you a quick introduction. So you head over to aistudio.google.com uh, and this is basically where you can uh, start to use the Gemini 3 Pro model. Um, and then also another way to use this is if you have uh, the Gemini app itself inside of your Google. So if you go to your gemini.google.com slash app, so this is where you can actually start to use. So right now, as you can see, it says thinking you're using the Gemini 3 model, which uh, if you have the app already, it should automatically update that if you click on tools and canvas this is where you can basically build the same exact thing but i kind of like the front end of the uh, google studio so i'll go ahead and use that and plus like i said for the google studio you can just use this for free you can just sign up for an account and you'll be able to use this right away all right so once you come to aistudio.google.com and log into your account it'll bring you right here the model if you click on the model here it, by default, it's going to select the Gemini 3 Pro Preview, but obviously it has access. You have access to the Gemini 2.5, uh, but obviously why would you use that? So uh, leave the system instruction as it is. Don't worry about uh, anything else. We're just going to kind of leave this as it is by default. So just a quick intro of the dashboard here. So in the bottom, you can see it says supercharge your apps with AI, nano banana powered app, create conversation voice apps. So if you click on any of this, it just automatically brings this up, meaning that it will uh, utilize these different uh, applications that are native to Google, of course, right? Nano banana is their native image generator. And then obviously, if you want to have incorporate like uh, other Gemini or Google apps, you can kind of go through uh, the AI apps here. And in the bottom, you can see the different applications that people have already built. So some of the stuff is absolutely incredible. So if I take a look at this game, for instance, somebody built this, it's not me, so I don't want to get, get credit here. So as you can see right here, if I just click on this, this is an entire application that has been built, right? Or an entire game. As you can see, it has really good controls. And by the way, this isn't done with like some crazy prompt. So as you can see, this just basically you pick up these uh, uh, different ladders and they have these obstacles. I think this was similar to one of the uh, games that exist, like a runner game, some, some, something like that. So as you can see, this is very, very powerful. Um, so feel free to play around. And the way to generate these is you can just go to the Gemini app itself. You can uh, have it generate the prompt for you. And you can basically come back to right here. So if I get rid of this and you can add that right here. So if I click on, I'm feeling lucky, you'll see it'll automatically bring in these uh, example prompts. So create an infinite, uh, infinite, choose your own adventure engine. It should be text-based. So if I just click on build now, what this is going to do is now it's going to work on this. And if you've used something like a lovable or cursor, the interface kind of looks similar, uh, but obviously it is all native AI Google products. 
And as you can see in the middle while this is being generated on the left hand side here, because it says Gemini Pro Preview running for 19 seconds, it's thinking, meaning that it's going to generate the app itself. In the meantime, the front end, it gives you a few more suggestions. So the first one is develop a system that allows for two plot divergence based on your player choice, ensuring each playthrough is unique and unpredictable. So if you click on add to chat, this will automatically add it right here. So that way, once this is done, you can uh, add additional layers on top of this application. So you can just kind of scroll through and this, this will give you more suggestions. So let's go ahead and let this thing build. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and go back to another, open up another tab so that way we can start to build our main AI UGC ad application. So let me go ahead and start with a quick demo here of the actual application. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk through kind of different step by step build of this. So this is just basically the front end here and the bottom we have the ability to add this uh, a screenshot of an application or a screenshot of a product and then a quick description and then email as well. So this is the front end. But before I do that, let's maybe go ahead and introduce you to the back end. The back end is we're going to use uh, NADN to kind of put everything together as far as VO 3.1 and Nano Banana and kind of the automation itself. So if you're new to NADN, you can go ahead and click on the link in the description. You can sign up for a free account. It'll bring you right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly bring over this workflow. So that way I can show you what this looks like. And then we're going to go ahead and build this thing. So I'm going to go ahead uh, to my community here and click on Vibe Coder course here. So the bottom if I click on Gemini right here. So the great thing about NADN is that you can download the blueprint or this JSON file and then you can import it to your NADN canvas there. So I just downloaded that file. I'm just going to import it here. I'm just going to bring it. There you go. So all of this gets brought up right here. So to give you a quick uh, introduction of this workflow, the first step, this green right here, this is going to be upload image and description from Gemini. So this is where we add this product image. We're going to send this to our NADN. So this is going to in the back end, you um, get that image and describe it. And then obviously the second step, we're going to create a new image with Nano Banana. And then the third step, we're going to use uh, that newly created image and image in the user description to generate an entire UGC ad using VO 3.1. By the way, all of this is all Google products. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead to the front end here and upload that screenshot. So let me go to that screenshot. I'm going to upload this uh, uh, sunscreen and then I'm just going to give it a quick description. So I just said a 23 year old female model talks about the importance of using this amazing sunscreen. Something very simple. It's just a description. I'm going to leave uh, these platform and aspect ratio as it is. We're going to deliver this to our email. This is going to send this as you can see the last step is sending this AI video to our email. So I'm going to go ahead and just add my email. So I'm going to add that. I'm just going to say I confirm that I have the rights to blah, blah, blah. All right. By the way, this is all done using one prompt, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. So now if I go back to my NADN, click on execute workflow. This is, as you can see right here, it's listening through this webhook. And I'm going to go ahead and now click generate ad. This is going to submit this. There you go. So now there you go. It got uploaded and now it's going to process everything and generate our ad. And then once this workflow is complete, we're going to receive that video, this ad into our email. Okay, so let's go ahead and let this uh, workflow finish while we build the front end. And then I'm going to come back and explain everything uh, of, of how this thing works, because this is going to take a couple of minutes to generate this ad. So let's go ahead <clears throat> and start with the front end here. So as you can see, I'm back in my AI studio.googles.app. So here I'm going to just put one prompt. And this is kind of where the power of Gemini uh, kind of comes in. I've noticed like just with one prompt, it's extremely powerful what it can build. So I'm going to head back to my community here. So instead of before I was doing two steps, so now I'm going to combine actually both of these steps. The first step, this first prompt is creating the user interface. So I'm just saying create a clean premium UGC ad builder site. Uh, the power, the bat should be powered by Gemini 3. NA10, Nano Banana, and VO3.1. And then I'm just giving it a few styles here. So let me just go ahead and copy and paste this. And by the way, this is optional. I mean, you can just create your own. You can use a ChatGPT or Gemini app to come up with your own prompt. But as you can see, it's pretty simple. I'm just giving it uh, some instructions on what to build in on the front end. Actually, instead of making this a two step, <clears throat> I'm going to add the second step at the same time. So this, the second step is basically sending. So when a user submits the photo description email, send that information to our NADN via this particular webhook right here, which I'm going to show you what that is. But let me go ahead and click on this copy. And I'm going to add this at the same time to my Google Studio. 
paste this. There you go. So let me get rid of this section right here. All right, I'm going to submit, uh, click on build, and then I'm going to show you what that prompt looks like. So I'm going to click on build. All right, there you go. So now it's got started. So let's go ahead and let that finish. But in the meantime, as you can see right here, the main prompt is creating the premium UGC ad builder site. You have the hero, the badge, the headline, the subhead, all of that. And then at the bottom, I'm also giving it kind of like a few instructions on what the sample looks like, the builder section. And then uh, here, this is where kind of the part where you interact with NADN comes in, right? So when a user submits the photo, description, and email, send that information to this webhook and attach the image as a file. This is very important. So this particular webhook right here, so that's the webhook right here. So this is the webhook URL that we have posted in the front end. So let's go ahead and back to our AI studio here. And there you go. It looks like it created this really nice front end here. All right, perfect. Looks great. So now in order to add, uh, in order to test actually to see whether this thing went through, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go ahead and create another, open another NADN instance. Okay, right here. And then I'm going to add as the first step, the webhook here. So if I click on webhook, there you go. So in NADN, all of the uh, triggers or all of the workflows start with the trigger. So this time, instead of uh, get, I'm going to make sure that the post request or the request HTTP method is post. And this is the URL. So I'm going to just copy this exact URL that I posted here. So that way I don't get confused so i'm just gonna get rid of this and change oh actually i just have to change this to test that's it right so if i just copy this right it's the same exact thing as this there you go whoops yep it's just my cloud account webhook dash test so if you just want to add that just make sure to change this from path the path and that gibberish that you saw to just test okay so let's go ahead and now you'll see how that data is being sent here. So if I click on execute workflow, you'll see that this is waiting right here, right? So now if I just add this, so I'm just gonna add this screenshot again, this photo, and I'm just gonna add just some random, my email, that's fine for now. I'm just gonna click on generate add. So now this should send this data, this screenshot over to my NADN. There you go, perfect. So if I click on side my webhook here, that's the, the file or that image that came through. Okay, so that's exactly how the interaction works. And like I said, with other vibe coding tools like Lovable and Cursor and everything, some, a lot of times I had to go back and forth multiple times in order to kind of achieve just this first step, right? So now let me go ahead and go back and take a look at it here. By the way, this workflow got finished. I'm just gonna, I just shut off my email because I don't want to receive the email. But essentially, this is the URL that you can get. This is the video, that ad video. So let's go ahead and play that. So I'm just gonna paste this, see what it generated. You guys know how much I love the sun, but protecting my skin is not negotiable. That's why I always use this Coppertone Complete 50. It's lightweight and doesn't feel greasy. Okay, great. So as you can see right here, this is basically the same product and it's this uh, user generated ad with that product kind of the person is holding this and talks about that product. So very, very simple. Like I said, we can later on talk about how you can create different aspect issues because I'll do other tutorials on this as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's happening and how this got generated, right? So the front end, just like I demonstrated earlier, this product, the image that the user submitted from Gemini, it came through. The second uh, here, we're going to upload this to our Google Drive. And then av after that, we're going to describe the image because we need to figure out exactly what the user image is. So I'm just using this OpenAI node to be able to create or create a description uh, of that particular image that got uploaded. The second step, this is we're going, we're going to use an AI agent to generate a prompt for our nano banana. Again, the reason I'm kind of going through this a little bit fast is because I've already done a tutorial and I'm going to put it in the description for this if you want to see the step by step build. So please feel free to check that out. Because if I go through this step by step, this is going to be like a two hour long video, but essentially this image generator AI agent generates the image prompt that then we reach out to Nano Banana. As you can see right here, this is the Nano Banana endpoint that we're reaching. I'm using file.ai. So I'm using this particular file.ai platform, which you can reach to uh, um, different AI models to be able to uh, you know, generate image, image to video, and all of that good stuff. By the way, it looks like Nano Banana 2 is coming soon as well. But anyways, I don't want to get distracted there. So in this particular step, I'm just creating a uh, an updated image, right? Uh, a new image of this 
woman holding that particular product that the user submitted. So as you can see, I'm just generating the prompt, the image URL, and we're sending all of this via the API to this endpoint. So this step is generating that image and this get image is basically uh, the new image that just got generated. So afterwards, the second, the third step is generating the AI UGC ad video with VO 3.1. So same thing. I'm using an AI agent to generate the prompt. So this is the video prompt, as you can see right here. A young woman about 23 stands in the sun led bedroom holding a blue copper tone complete 50 sunscreen, which was that updated or the user uploaded image. The second step uh, of this particular video generation, the same thing. I'm using file.ai to reach to VO 3.1 fast image to video endpoint. And this is exactly uh, this particular endpoint. So this is coming all from this documentation here. Uh, so from here, same thing, I'm giving it this prompt, the video prompt that got generated earlier, the image URL, and this is going to generate the video. So that's why it takes a couple of minutes. So therefore, I had to add this automation here, a wait node to basically wait to check the status of that video generation. And again, same thing, we're using HTTP request node to reach out to this particular endpoint to see whether the status of that API is complete. So once it's completed, it's going to go to the next level, uh, the next node, which is basically getting the URL. And as you can see, this is the exact URL that was generated. So this is the ad that we saw earlier. Now, the, the third step, this is, uh, or the last step, this is optional. You can add this to your email. So that way the user gets the email uh, or gets the video link via email. Very, very simple. Like I said, I've done a step-by-step -step tutorial on this so that we can check it out if you're interested in learning this. But the goal of this video, obviously, is for me to show you how the Google Gemini uh, 3 is incredibly fast and robust and in, in very, very smart as far as understanding what the user is asking it, including interacting with third-party applications like NADAN in the back end there. So super useful. And if you want to learn more about Vibe Coding, please feel free to check out the community. I have an entire Vibe Coding class where we talk about Lovable, Cursor, Horizons, and all the other Vibe Coding tools. And I'm going to keep building on, on top of this. And of course, if you're new to NADAN, you can learn the beginning level, intermediate, advanced. We have all sorts of courses, including voice AI. And most importantly, if you want to learn how to make money with AI, we have an entire five week course where we teach you exactly how to get your first paying AI client. So check that out. Link in the description. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like subscribe because I've got a lot more video content coming up in the future that you want to miss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.